Welcome back to Twisted Metal Customs. You're with Twisty, and today we're working on the 42 Ford Jailbar, and we're gonna try to cut and shut this 1940 Ford Deluxe front clip onto it. So that's today's mission. Radio. so the paint I'm having is that, obviously it's, it's similar, but it's quite different. The 40 uh, compared to the Jailbar, so it's got like a big front end, a real pointy front end. The jar bar has that flat bulldog snout sort of looking thing but you've only got to you can only work with what you got so we're going to try to make this work and keep to the theme of the ratty rat truck i will need to split that whole bonnet and widen the front about 250 mil or 200 mil and bring the back end in about 200 mil either side you can see that gap in there and that's the same on both sides so it's going to be a challenge and yeah this is probably the most extent of bodywork and fabrication i've done so i'm pretty excited and if you haven't seen my last video on my first attempt of gearbox tunnel i think it came up pretty good on the first attempt so happy with that so if i can continue on that theme of arsing it together then let's do that this front grille section i'm not particularly fond like I like it, but I still love the jar bar look, and obviously it's a jar bar. So it's once I get that left and right side mocked up into place, and you know, I guess what somewhat tacked into position, I'm basically going to be cutting from there all the way across, and then making my own custom front end. And I want to sort of push this snout in a little bit to make it a bit more uh, pug nose, I guess. And then I've got some custom pieces that I've got from scrap that I'm gonna do the jail bar bars with. And it might be just slightly smaller with our jail bar was fairly big and tall. It's gonna be a smaller jail bar look. got the two halves of the bonnet sitting there now and the back is pretty well you know roughly where it needs to be width wise and all I'm going to do is widen the front now so that's day one down quite a bit of cutting there and uh, a bit of effort I had to actually go and get that other left hand guard from that 40 deluxe so it took me about an hour to get it unbolted and cut off so here we have the rough shape of what the uh, 40 deluxe front end looks like on the jail bar I've shortened the front bonnet about 100 mil like we spoke about so by the time this gets pushed in a bit flatter, both of them, so it's more of a uh, flat front, uh, I, I still got a bit of room here for length to um, to get that you know spot on in that groove. I've just roughly cut it now. I've got at least another 50 to 60 mil worth of length. I think it looks pretty good, you know, from getting from a scrap car. That's uh, it's uh, coming along quite nicely. You see that's how much I've spread the bonnet and it's just going to make that a bit more of a less of a bird's beak front end. So as you can understand it's going to be a bit of a mission to shape and re-weld all that in but hey I'm just doing my best 
and yeah take it nice and slow when i get to that point you guys will be watching along anyway and i've got my sh my homemade english wheel over there and flanishing hammer that can help me out so i was thinking about maybe using these grill grill pieces grillettes grill bones anyway i was thinking about incorporating them somehow maybe if you guys voted on the hood scoop or not like a real thin line like a thin you know i don't know i cut them out so they could be somewhat saved but they're pretty pretty average looking i can just give you a quick update on the interior as you can see in the last video we've done all that uh tunnel in the tail shaft tunnel there i've continued on and got some back bracing along the back wall there because the old ones are flimsy and you know not doing their job and i've started doing the wiring so we had it running pretty nicely um wired up just in here just done another test run and i might insert that right now Bloody awesome. How good does that sound? I reckon I cannot wait to get on the road on this thing and just oh man That's my drive hearing that engine run With no crank bolt in it Yeah, I don't know It's I've ordered a part. It's all right. Come down. All right, so this is what I've done I've got the ECU bracketry, which I showed you earlier. I made that up. It's uh, bolted to the side there it can be removed anytime I've got this flip down hinged uh was it circuitry board like a fuse box board i need to get a relay holder to complete that for all the relays i need on the interior and then i can finish that off and then fix it up it'll be up out of the way up there which is pretty nice all that wiring won't be seen because as you can see there's not much room in here like my foot size 12 and a half foot that's uh you know, three pedals got to be in here, so my clutch is going to be over here somewhere. And then brake and then accelerator is going to be right on the side here, so it's going to be quite tight. I do need to do something about the extractors because there's not much room in there to play with. Uh, I have ordered a DIY weld it yourself, sort of elbow bends and stuff, like just to make my own extractors. My legs are shot. So yeah, it's fun, but freaking hell this uh, kind of work takes it out of you. 34 years old and I feel like I'm 55. No offense to the 55 year olds. But man, my legs. All right, update time. Okay, so we've just got this. Uh, I'm using that against the bumper stops for a guide. So it's pushed in nice and tight and I've tack welded the bottom um, perimeter, like I've got the outside shape on, and I wanted that to stay straight. So this is basically a guide for now, but I'm just about to go through and chop some of these up and start spacing them out. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. It's been about seven hours of crouching down in this cesspool of tools and grinding and welding hoses and stuff so it's like just a junk pile.
All right. You can see there that we have cut some of the main front ones. See the front part of the grill there. They're different. Um, they're a different pitch, but these four or five will be the same. That's why I did bulk. The rest are going to be individually cut because you can see that as that tape is back, the angle is going to change every single time. We have a problemo. I've only got 15 of these pieces of steel, and that's uh, well, five will be there, but that's the gap with it's about 17 across the front at the moment. So that's why I only cut four because they were supposed to be spread out only four across this section. So we'll have a quick look how shitty it's going to look with just four on there. All right, so that's roughly spaced out. For me, that's too big. It's, it doesn't look very good, especially because I want to have that sort of changing pitch as it comes, then a straight little front section and returns back. I'm going to need more of those jail bar uprights than less. So I've got the problem is that I want to put, you know, probably, probably six across the front and then seven or eight either side. So I don't have enough. And obviously they're quite particular. I could probably make them, but they're quite thick steel. So, well, I have off cuts, but they're fatter. And I'll have a lot of them. So I could maybe make, I cut them off flush, weld them together and make say, because of these are the outside, maybe I can make them. So maybe do three thick ones and then leads into the small ones. That look pretty cool. Yes, more like that. That's a bit better gap. Well, GoPro is nearly flat. I'm flat. It's near dark. Well, it's getting there. Anyway, check out how far we've got. I'm pretty happy with the way it's taken shape. Ready for it? Bam. That's sick. Uh, that's a bit better gap there. Look at that. You can see, don't mind all my shit on the ground. You can see how it actually goes out. So once I get the two more in here, it goes out to the middle, which is a nice flat piece. That's cool. So that's gonna look pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. And I'll be happy with it. So that's my interpretation of a jail bar made out of a 40, 40 or 41 Ford Deluxe front end. I've pushed in those two sides back further and yeah, like the whole thing's been bent and shaped and everything. Um, I'll insert a 41 Deluxe here now so you can see the difference. You see on the 41 Deluxe that the front bonnet itself is like, like a wedge. It's like a bird's beak. Now look back at mine, I've actually literally cut that. That's how much I've spread just the bonnet. So to get that bit more of a snub bull nose look. So I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming. And yeah, I know it's a lot of work, holy hell. But that's what they call a rat rod. It's custom built, handmade, blood, sweat, tears. This is the part where if you're doing a, a project at home and you sort of lost that motivation. Just get in, start doing whatever you got to do. Because once you get to a point where it looks different, I tell you, the motivation's to the roof. Because I mean, three days, this is the third day that I've been filming this, and about eight hours a day, just, you know, there was nothing on the front of this, remember, but all of a sudden, look at it, it's there. So, just get in there, just start doing something. Just pick on one little thing and just start working on it and then you'll just end up somewhere else and that's good. Generally it's good, it's better than being stagnant. So get into your project.
comment below of what project you're working on and yeah, we'll get motivated together to work on it and get you to finish it. Good in the shed. Alright, be back tomorrow, finish this grill off. Alrighty, so you can see how far we have come today. I've been to town, they didn't have any uh, sheet metal to do this in the size I wanted, so it's gonna be next video, but we'll finish off this grill today. And so far it's looking pretty good. A lot of stuff on around those angles, every single one was different. Every single angle was different. You see on the grinder, well actually I'll probably cut it out, but yeah, anyway, a lot of grinding, but you can see it's looking pretty good. So I've got to do two more each end and obviously I ran out as I was saying before so I'm going to use the offcuts and try to weld them together for like a, a fatter style. See here we've got the uh, offcuts so I'm thinking of just either cutting them like that and that's what they're going to look like on the front. I know it's different, but hey, you can only work with what you got, so... See if I can get that to stay in there. Yeah, I don't know if I like it, to be honest. I think it's shit, to be honest. That's... It looks shit. It's all nice grill, bars, and then it's just got that. I don't like it. And they're not long enough to be able to cut off those fins to have thick ones even. So I'm going to have to try to fold up my own bloody steel. Because I don't like that. Alright, we're going to make up some other steel for it. Which is going to be fun. I've got that thick 1.2mm steel. I've cut it in three different lengths because I couldn't bend the whole piece because it's only a small little uh, bender. I bent one to sand, but shit's pretty hard. I'm waiting for this thing to break. Oops. So what I need to do is get it somewhat bent in the shape I need. Like that for example just roughly so then I can get like a, a dolly I had a one that I was trying to find I could just put in the vise and then start hammering it around it to get the shape but this is the first step three of these This is what it's all about, isn't it? Just improvising. Especially if you haven't got all the proper tools and stuff. I'm lucky that I can save that for this. It makes a big difference. Uh, all right, now, what's next? I need a dolly and some beat in that. A dolly as in put a nice chunk of solid steel underneath it and hammer around it. Let me have a think, I'll get back to you. 
I've got an idea that may work. Uh, it's pretty thick steel and it's very short, so it's gonna be hard to mold, but this is an old air chisel tip that I made up that actually snapped off uh, just for like massaging out dints on a project. So I'm thinking if I cut that bit narrower to the same profile, this is the one I have spare. So I only need to make three, four in total. So this is my guide. We'll make that skinny enough to fit in there. And then I can put that in the dirt. Put this in the dirt. I don't have a bag or anything. Put it in the dirt and just sort of and then see if we can mold it that way. Just gotta give it a go, I guess. Alright, let's get that cut and I'll get back to you. Anyway, that's it. That's my uh, guide. I made it shorter so I had more impact. If it's longer, it's less likely to actually bend it up. So if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to make it shorter again. I found some railway spikes and they look pretty cool. Like there's two either side that I need to replace. And I put a railway spike down and then up. So it's going to look like that. Obviously it doesn't go all the way. It just looks pretty cool. It's like a half open, like, anyway, that's the fail safe. This is, if it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna put the railway spikes in there like that. It's pretty cool. But we're gonna give this a go now. I'm gonna. That's original. That's what we just folded with the air chisel. And it would have been a lot better if I made a narrower bend, like a narrower back section, but it's a little bit too wide. Like that, see it's way too wide now looking at it. So that's a first mistake for next time. There won't be a next time. So we wear safety glasses, people. For stupid shit like that. All right, that's my attempt. 1.2 mil steel. So it's not exactly the same, but once I cut that little bit out, so it's all the same, maybe I can mold it a bit better. Mosquitoes. All right, I'm gonna go around and cut them out. That one's a bit hot still. So that's them, roughly. So, <coughs> once I cut that one to shape, it's pretty similar. It's not too bad, I reckon. Well, I don't know, after two hours of bug rising around with that bloody handmade pieces, that's the original and that's my handmade one. Like, I mean, so I'm just dealing with this freaking tripod. You can tell, like, it's not too bad. But you can tell. It's good from afar, but far from good. So that's option A. Or my railway spike idea was gonna be like this. Like I cut them a bit shorter. But have it so wait, how's it gonna work? Like that. I'm leaning towards this one actually. Alright. Yeah, that was a waste of time. And I'm going with the railway spikes. <laughs> I didn't like the look of the other ones. They weren't, it was like trying to be too similar and it wasn't right. So I'd rather go completely different. So it's obviously not the same, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is the big reveal of the railway spikes. 
Hope you like it. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking when I was trying to explain before. Don't mind these guys here, they're already welded in before I decided to clean them. And the other side, I haven't put the spikes in yet, that one's just sitting there. But, just imagine railway spikes over here too. And I'll straighten them up when I weld them in properly, but that's what it looks like. That's the end of the grill. It's going to be pretty damn solid. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And once it's all complete, like once that's in there as well, and it's all that bar's coming down, I'm just going to put... I was considering putting a, a bumper bar on it, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to continue that sheet metal around and wrap it underneath. So that grill's sort of the, the main feature. But what are your thoughts on the spikes? Would you have went the other way? Uh, like the way I was going to do with those dodgy... They're not too bad. Dodgy, but not bad for a paddock hack sort of makeup. So that's where that can go. But yeah, I found those railway spikes. But I think that looks pretty cool. Just something different, you know? And that's what it, hot rodding was all about. So I've read is you only use what you got and make things of what you can with bits and pieces you find. That's not a quote, it's just me trying to put a sentence together. But anyway, that's the grill and the rat rod jail bar is taking shape and I am liking the look of the front now much better than the deluxe look. So I'm running out of battery and daylight and I've got a hell of a lot cleaning to do. That's all the stuff I've chopped out. But next time we are going to, I'll have that finished off. Next time we're gonna do that bonnet sheet metal work and fill in that um, triangle piece there with some more body work and maybe finish off the bottom of that uh, valence, valence, bottom of the lip, get rid of that bumper and that sheet metal. And also you can see the profiling of this that because I've shortened that bonnet, that curve now is not gonna meet obviously the original curvature. So I'm gonna have to cut maybe I do want to lower this waste of space as well to about there. My chubby. So I'm gonna have to cut that down, profile that and then refold that up underneath and redo that bonnet anyway. So there's a fair bit of work in that. Uh, so two questions for you guys. What do you think of the spikes? When they're both sides, but what do you think of the spike at the front? What do you think of the grill? That's a two part question. And remember I asked about the hood scoop. That's just a wild curveball. Uh, I haven't even really considered it or shape or size or what, but I think it's gonna be too much curves and too much there so the feature will be the grill but i just thought you know why i'm going if i'm going to put something in give me some ideas so hope you like that and i'll get stuck into this next week i'm going to edit this video tonight thanks for tuning in twisted metal customs twisty year i appreciate you watching give it a like subscribe if you haven't subscribed if not that's cool too see you next time and check out the merch see you have a great weekend Yes! That was sick. That's the best it's ever run.